Want to buy the best synthetic insulated jacket? We've bought, tested, and reviewed over 50 of the best insulated jackets in the past 8 years and feature 13 of the most popular in our 2021 review. Synthetic insulated jackets have several advantages, including the ability to keep insulating when wet, greater breathability, and generally lower cost when compared to down insulation. Whether you are looking for the warmest jacket you can find to keep you comfortable in the coldest temps, a lightweight and stretchy active layer to wear while working up a sweat, or a jacket with optimal wind resistance, we have you covered with some excellent and affordable recommendations. The first product on our list is Arcteryx Nuclei FL. On days where cold winds move in during the afternoon, and you tighten your shoulders and core to try and generate some heat, you can pull on the Arcteryx Nuclei FL for instant warmth. This lightweight jacket has just the right amount of Arcteryx core locked insulation to make it incredibly warm while keeping the weight down. We've seen similarly impressive offerings in the past from Arcteryx, and Rab and Patagonia, for that matter, but none have hit the mark quite like the Nuclei FL. The fit is perfect, with a long tail that covers most of your butt, sleeves that don't restrict movement through the arms and shoulders, and a hood that fits over a climbing helmet. Its included stuff sack is permanently fixed to an inside pocket, and we can stuff and unpack this jacket quicker and more easily than any model we've seen in over a decade of testing. The Arato face fabric has a very effective DWR treatment, and despite hearing that it's less durable than Pertex, we didn't feel like the nuclei is any more fragile than its closest competitors, plus it has a softer feel and no crinkle factor. This jacket is not a breathable model for stop and go activities. Even on easy hikes and approaches, we found ourselves shedding this layer after only a few minutes. Sweat will build up, and the moisture has nowhere to go, so if you aren't careful, you can become a sweaty, and potentially cold, mess in this jacket. For the nuclei to be a good mid-layer, it needs to be really cold out. It's better suited as a terminal layer and moderately cold days, or when you're staying put in camp or hanging out at a belay. There are similarly performing jackets in our review selection, but none hit the spot like the Nuclei FL. The second product is Rab Zenon Hoodie. The Rab Zenon has long been one of the top performers in our comparative testing and one of our favorite synthetic insulated jackets. It shares many of the same characteristics as the Patagonia DAS Light Hoodie and the Arcteryx Nuclei FL, but can be purchased for significantly cheaper, making it an optimal choice for the budget conscious. It also features a very smooth and slick, seamless face fabric that does a great job resisting the wind, something that contributes positively to its overall warmth effect as well. It's lightweight, highly packable, and has a very effective DWR treatment in case you happen to get stuck in a spot of rain or snow. Overall, this is an excellent outer layer that is also one of the most affordable options you will find. As with any product, there are a few downsides. With a highly wind-resistant shell, the trade-off is much poorer breathability compared to its stretchy counterparts. We also found the fit to be quite large and borderline baggy, so consider sizing down if you fall between sizes. The large fit makes it easy to layer over other layers but also prevented us from wanting to use it as a mid-layer very often. It's also not quite warm enough for us to consider using as a daily winter jacket, so we think it serves better specifically for outdoor missions. As a wind-resistant, insulating outer layer, this jacket cannot be beaten for almost any cold weather activity such as hiking, biking, climbing, or running. The next product in our list is Arcteryx Atom LT Hoodie. Active insulated layers have come to dominate this genre of jackets, with the Arcteryx Atom LT representing the cream of the crop. These jackets tend to be much lighter, have a lot less insulation, exhibit excellent breathability, and are typically made of stretchy fabrics to allow for the largest range of motion. We love the Atom LT in particular because it fits perfectly for wearing while climbing, running, skiing, or performing any other cool weather outdoor sport, as it isn't overly baggy, but also has a low hem and long arms, with excellent shoulder mobility, so that we are never feeling constrained in our jacket. We found the fit to be far more athletically minded than the overly constrictive Patagonia Nano Air, a jacket which has come to define this category. 
It also pairs lightweight and breathable stretch fleece panels along the side of the body with lightweight core loft insulation everywhere else to make it better than any other we've tested at regulating our temperature while working hard. Active layers are designed to be worn when active, providing you protection from cold air or wind, but without becoming so hot, you need to take it off. Naturally, then, they are pretty thin, and if you expect to wear this jacket as a standalone in winter without moving your body to stay warm, you will likely end up feeling pretty cold. That said, it also serves as an excellent mid-layer for added warmth beneath a thicker outer jacket or shell. We loved it as a winter running jacket, wearing while skinning uphill, winter bouldering, and even for high-output Nordic skiing. It also serves as a lightweight jacket for chilly mountain evenings and mornings during the summer or shoulder seasons, when a heavier jacket would be overkill. The next product in our list is Arcteryx Atom R Hoodie. Arcteryx recently updated most of their synthetic jacket lineup by changing the fit a little and also swapping out the fabrics used for better options. We love the subtle but significant updates, as these jackets are now easily among the most comfortable. The heaviest and thickest one we've reviewed is the Atomar hoodie, which is our favorite option when we need warmth above all else. It mixes and matches different densities of core-loft insulation depending on body location, with the majority being a whopping 120 grams slash M2. This super warm jacket maintains an impressive weight and has an excellent fit for use as an outer layer. There remains plenty of room on the inside for base and mid layers to ride without feeling overly stuffed, while the arms, shoulders, and hem are all generously sized to give ideal flexibility when skiing, climbing, or even chopping wood. Simply put, this jacket is easily among the warmest we've tested while being far more comfortable and ideal fitting than its closest competition. As you may expect from a jacket designed to trap as much heat as possible, this one isn't very breathable. The moment we started moving, we usually needed to take it off, although on a few hikes in 10F weather, we simply kept it on. It's also a bit heavy and bulky, which is another downside that comes with added warmth. There are also more affordable choices to be found if budget is your primary consideration. If you need a warm jacket for everyday use in the winter or an outer jacket to keep you warm when you take breaks on the skin track or while belaying in the ice park, this is the first one that we would recommend checking out. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.